life. I'm Minister Laura Spade. I, I want to thank all my brothers and sisters in Christ and just praising God for who he is. And today I want to talk about Job. You know, we all know the story of Job. He was a man from us. He was righteous. And, and Job lived a life that gave him bragging rights. The Lord actually bragged to Satan about Job. But, but I'm, I want to focus, even though Job had troubles, he knew to depend on the Lord, and, and he didn't let nothing stand in his way. But I want to focus on Job, the 14th chapter, the 14th verse, and says, I'll wait a point in time for my change is going to come. So I'm telling you today that you need to wait on the Lord because your change is going to come. You know, Job went through things. He lost everything. He lost his children. His body was diseased. His wife didn't stick by him. His friends dogged him out. But still, he said, I know my Redeemer lives. He says that naked I came into this world and the, and the Lord give it and the Lord take it away. We need to understand that he said that in the 13th verse of chapter 14, he says that I wait for the appointed time, the set time, and Lord remember me. I'm saying that God has your breakthrough on his calendar. You have to wait on him. God can do all things. He will keep you in perfect peace whose mind has stayed on thee. He will make you the head and not the tail. He will give you beauty for ashes. But you got to know, saints, that your change is going to come. You got to realize that God had all power in his hands. And if you just hold out, he will tell the storms you got to cease. You can tell the devil to take your hands off God's property. You better tell the people, you better be careful how you handle God's property. Because God has called us out of the dark into the marvelous light. And he won't let nothing turn us around. You know that there are thorns in our side. You know like Apostle Paul. But he said to live is Christ and to die is to gain. Because he knew where he was going. And Job said, even though my body be eaten with worms. He said, yet will I trust in the Lord? You need to know Trust in the Lord today and lean not to your own understanding. In all ways, acknowledge him and he will direct your path. I'm here to tell you what it says in Isaiah. They who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up as wings as eagles. They shall walk and not be weary. Run on, saints. And see what the end is going to be. Because God got your breakthrough. Oh, somebody is out there is going through some hard times. Some trials and tribulations. But you only can have a triumph if you have a trial. You only can have a victory if you become a victim. And you can be somebody's testimony. I'm here to tell you right now that your change is going to come. But you got to be patient and wait until the Lord says it's time. Time. Is winding up, and if you're doing things the wrong way, don't get caught up in the things of the world. See, it's a trick of the enemy to make you think that you're missing something if you're leaning and depending and trusting God and walking in his ways. But I'm here to tell you that everything except the word of God is going to go away, so you need to trust and build your hope on things eternal, things that are going to last, and know that you have a seat. In God's kingdom, that you're heir to a robe and a crown. I'm here right now to know you, your change is going to come if you trust in the Lord and lean not to your own understanding because God has got a way. But you just got to wait and hold out. I hope this encouraged someone. And I ask you to share this message that the change is going to come if you just trust in the Lord, give him what's right, pay your tithes. Bring your kids up in the admiration of the Lord and know that the world has nothing to offer you. I'm here. I want to proclaim to the world. I said that I would tell everywhere I go and by any means necessary that Jesus Christ is the son of the living God. And you need to trust him today if you want your breakthrough. But you got to wait, not try to get it by the world's means, but wait because the Lord on the cattle of a thousand hills and he has all riches in his hand and he has the power to heal. He has the heal in a touch. He has a heal and in a word. And I'm telling you right now, 
I tried him and I wouldn't go back for any reason. So if this is for you today, brothers and sisters, tell your unsaved loved one that God is away and know that your chain is going to come. May God bless you. May the peace of Jesus always be with you.